in this video we are going to see how we can set up our work area blender provides us a lot of flexibility and we can customize this work area as per our needs or if we don't need any windows or something or these sections to say we can completely adjust them as per our requirement so over here we by default when you open blender you get this kind of setup the 3d viewport timeline properties section and our outliner over here okay now adjusting or managing this area is quite simple when you move your cursor to any of these locations it will turn like this you can resize these areas these things are usually known by most of the people who have used any kind of software so this is customizable what other things we can do is quite interesting all of these areas can be switched into a different mode for working like if this is outliner this is properties this is timeline and this is our 3d viewport let us say you want two 3d viewports you can drag this over here like this you don't want the timeline right now it's not required so if you will notice every section or if I call it as a every window over here, this is a window, this is this, this is a window. Every window on the top left corner of that window, you will find this icon, which is basically a drop down and which allows you to switch to any of the type of interface that you want. Fine. So this is the 3D viewport interface. This is my timeline interface. So if I wanted this interface to be switched to 3d viewport another 3d viewport so i will get a 3d viewport over here fine this does not mean that i have two 3d viewports it's the same one it's displaying me another view for this fine just like we had uh, seen the quad view like if i move this guy you can see that effect happening over here so this is one of the ways where you can set any of the viewport to any of the thing that you like fine 3d viewport image editor and all they are broken up into general animation related scripting related and data related settings over here so i'll reset this back to what was that timeline okay even the shortcuts are provided you can use the shift f5 f6 and all to switch between viewports while you are working so if you get used to the shortcuts you can quickly switch between them so i'm switching this back to timeline again so let's try on this i will change this outliner to file browser so here we can see this is a file browser over here so let's switch it back so this way you can set or change the visible viewports anytime you like the other thing is many people when they start working they have different needs and they would want to change the viewports or have more viewports or something like that as earlier i had mentioned there are already predefined viewport settings available which you can use for modeling sculpting and all but still the default one if you want to change what you can do so few interesting things that we can do is we can cut one viewport into two parts so how do we do that move your mouse to any of the positions where there are two of these windows or you can get an edge of that viewport right click on that and you get this vertical split and horizontal split now let us say i want a vertical split so based on where you will move your mouse since i have two viewports over here i can split any one of them so let's say i want to split this so i'll click on here so now i have two viewports it splits into two parts whatever you split it will remain same but now i have two of them now if you like you could change this to something else let's say python console for typing we have changed this into this so this is possible and you can continue doing that split vertical split horizontal and so on so let's have a look at horizontal split also so i can split this or this into horizontal one and here now I have two of this this I can change to let us say file browser and now I have multiple settings like this now what I would want to do is if I don't want any of these splits which I have done I can join them 
so again go to one of these edges right click on it and you can say join areas before we do join areas let's have a look at this swap thing swap area simply swaps these two areas like this fine this is already understood thing now let's try to join the areas now join areas how it works when you click on join areas obviously there are two areas so as you can see the arrow it's pointing this side that means this window the window below or the area below will take up this area or if I do it in this manner the Python console will take up this particular area so let's say I want the Python console to take up this area I will click here and this way I can join the areas now let us say I would want to join it back again join areas and I can join it back now this is changed to Python console so now I can go back and say it, 3d viewport okay so this way you can split horizontally, vertically and swap areas, join areas and so on and also set the type of view for a particular section or window that you want. This is how you can customize the whole settings. Now let us say for example I would uh, change this for timing python console let us say python console or i use a shader editor a lot so i would put this as shader editor for example and this is the setup i want all the time and i have also changed the cube to suzanne monkey over here so one setting i have done over here and this is what i want every time i start blender so what you could do is you can go to file and in defaults you can say save startup file this way what is going to happen is the startup file gets saved and now if I close blender over here okay don't save means this is about this file changes not about our startup file so now we will start blender again and now you can see our blender started with the previous setup which we had done and this way you can manage the views and the windows and other things as per your liking. Okay, so now let us say you don't want this setting anymore. What we are going to do is we'll go to file defaults and we will say load factory settings. So now the factory settings are loaded. Now we will say defaults save startup file so that this one becomes the startup file. Save this and now we will quit and now let's restart blender and now we have started back with the standard factory settings okay